Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. This is what I want to share with you. You see a lot of people reacting in totally opposite ways. Some people are rejoicing that President Trump is in office. Other people are mourning. Now, this is a man who is mourning. And this is the reason. You know, whatever Trump has done lately, you know, they say he's given his heart to the Lord. Time will tell. And that would be wonderful if he does. Because that means God can start moving through his heart to benefit the country and to benefit the people. However, this man is a Muslim. He is very much afraid. He's not a terrorist. He's not violent. He is totally afraid. And I want you to hear why. See, all the words that President Trump said during the campaign trail has incited so much anger and violence that even though his heart may be changed now, the words are still that he said back then are still doing damage now. I want you to hear what this man says because it is kind of sad to hear how he feels. I just want to say first quickly that I'm not here to, to complain about my feelings. Uh, I do believe that we elected someone who does not understand that his words can have consequences. And just in the past mm -hmm. two days since he's claimed victory, we've had violent attacks against Muslims on college campuses and other places. In Louisiana, a woman was beaten up by two Trump supporters. One of them was wearing a Trump hat. So uh, I do want to, to separate the emotion bit from the danger bit as well. Because now, this is what I want to say to that. I said months ago that my biggest concern was that hate begets hate. And what ends up happening is when you start setting the stage and saying key words and phrases that incite the racism that never did go to sleep in many and incite the intolerance, President Trump may have changed. He may have. I don't know. That's the word going around that he gave his heart to the Lord. But the damage is done because he may be changed, but his words are carrying on some repercussions that are deadly. Listen, everybody, we really need to pray in this day and age. We need to pray that God brings peace before we end up with another civil war. I believe the civil war, excuse me, and the racial unrest will benefit certain people who have money, who have a lot of money. I don't know how it'll serve their purpose, but I believe some of this is systemic. I mean, systematic. It's, it's almost uh, not systemic, it's systematic. Almost like it, uh, there are underhanded schemes going on and they want the people to buy in to whatever has been said and they're stirring up the pot in so many subtle ways so that they can keep the flame ablaze and they can keep everybody uh, excited and angry and, and, and volatile. We need to pray. Those of you who don't believe in God, you can ignore me. But those of you who believe in God, we need to pray. I am telling you, just like that man said that woman got had gotten beaten, what if she had gotten beaten to death? And for what? You got people burning limousines, busting out Starbucks. What are they busting Starbucks out for? Starbucks is just trying to do their business. Those are every everyday Americans like we are. What are they messing with their stuff for? You want to burn something, burn your own house. See, all this violence is so unnecessary. You, you can peacefully agree to disagree. Okay, I'll get all revved up and I don't want to try to incite any more anger. I'm just passionate about the fact 
that we're supposed to be all here on one accord as a country. And just because we don't see eye to eye doesn't mean we have to feel hatred and disdain and divorce one another and kick you out of my life because you don't think the way I think and you don't feel the way I feel. So that makes you worthless. You don't agree with me? Screw you. Where does that come from? Certainly isn't from God. Okay. Think about that. And I just ask you again. Please pray.